Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Simon and welcome back to episode 22, I believe, of Death Note. Um, the last time we had a very Misa-centric episode uh, where we saw that she is a hell of a lot smarter than we've been led to believe. Really enjoyed the episode. Um, I find Misa an intriguing character and to see that she's not just kind of psychopathic um she actually does have a you know a fair iq on her when it comes to you know making plans like this uh, is really refreshing to see you know uh, all through this sort of series it's all been up light and lb and the two big intellectual minds against each other and now we've actually got um you know a third brain on the go who is you know working to their own purposes so it's gonna be really interesting to see the fallout from that episode um you know, it now looks like we know which one of the Yatsuda board members is Kira. And Misa has, you know, kind of got him under control. So it's going to be interesting to see where it goes. So there's only one thing for it. Let's watch the episode. All I had to do was tell him I'd marry him if he was really Kira. Plus, I managed to convince him that I'm the second Kira. If I didn't say this now, oh. I'd probably end up contradicting my story later. Misa! You idiot! Didn't I tell you to deny all that? But but now we know Higuchi's Kira, right? That's so a lot of cake. Problem? Can't we just catch him? How does El not have diabetes? Victory, right, Matsuda? <laughs> but right now we still don't know exactly how he kills his victims, do we? Yes, that's what I was thinking. Before we move to arrest Higuchi, I want to find out how he kills people. After getting this far, uh, do you know how difficult it is to break into someone's house? Besides, do you have any idea of how many cars this guy has? <laughs> Six. Six. Fine then. I just have to install them in all his cars, right? Yes, thank you. <laughs> oh, if Higuchi had been bugged earlier, I would have been in big trouble. Yeah. Light, I'm sorry to keep coming back to this topic. I'll just get right to the point. What is it? Do you remember killing anyone, I mean? Huh? Are you still going on about that? <laughs> Look, I'm not kidding. How many times do I... I just want you to answer the question. Well, do you remember? No, he doesn't. No, I don't. Misa, what about you? I don't remember. How could I? Because I'm not kidding. Mm -hmm. Look, Light, please listen to what I'm about to say. I'd like you to thoroughly analyze my current theory. This could determine the way in which we end up catching Kira. Light Yagami used to be Kira. Kira's power has somehow passed on to another person. Light Yagami now has no memory of ever being Kira. I need your analysis based on these assumptions. Do you think you can do that for me? Oh. Yeah, I'll give it a try. Light Yagami used to be Kira. Kira's power has somehow passed on to another person. Was oh. that because Light Yagami wanted it to happen? Or was there someone else in control of Light, lurking in the background, who gave him the power? Was it that person Technically, who passed yes. Light's powers to someone else? Hmm. Ryuk never gave it to anyone. Given your premise, it would be my will. Ooh. Yes, of course. Ah. If there is a third party with the ability to bestow or transfer Kira's power, and they didn't want their method to be discovered, it makes no sense that they would wait so long to transfer it from you to the next Kira. If we believe that this was the work of some being watching us from above, then we'd have to accept that they are impossible to catch. Mm -hmm. Not to mention, I'd already be dead. Technically, it's true, but you're on the right lines. By eternally dancing in the palm of someone's hand. It has to be someone who Higuchi believes he'll be able to kill. In other words, it has to be someone whose name he can look up easily. But we're never going to find a person like that, are we? Hmm. You're the only one who can do it. But they were supposed to think that you're dead. Higuchi probably thinks that you were listening in on their meeting and overheard their plans to kill people. It would make sense that Misa's manager, who he thought was dead, is the one revealing his secret. Ah. Right. 
We'll have Sakura take ah. as a voice filter and frosted glass to protect your identity. Higuchi will probably realize from the announcement in the silhouette that it's the manager, Taro Matsui. And just to make sure, we'll have the studio mess up and accidentally reveal your face from behind the frosted glass. Oh, oh, oh. oh wow. Until the show ends, the announcer will keep saying they'll reveal the full name of H, who's acting as Kira. Higuchi would feel cornered. He'd have no choice but to find out the manager's name as soon as possible. We can anticipate what actions he'll take. We'll witness his killing method. After that, we arrest him. There is one potential problem with this plan. If Higuchi can kill by simply looking at someone's face, just like the second Kira, that's it, I will die. Oh, uh, oh. Considering the fact that you're still alive and how he's pursuing. I don't Misa, think he's got the Shinigami eyes. Anyway, we're only going because to he mentioned in the last episode that Misa had them and that's why she'd be valuable. In the meantime, but why she'd also have to die. If he wants to go through with this plan. Come on, you can do it. You've already died once, technically. I don't need two or three days to decide. Kira would make sure there are people less clever than him. <laughs> well, then it looks like we all know the truth. Are they gonna figure out them? I got you. It's Higuchi, isn't it? Yes. Higuchi. He's Higuchi. The one most obsessed with money and success. He might always act as if he's not interested in those things, but that just proves it all the more. And he always insults everyone around him and can't use his people well. I believe that's why he was demoted from being head of the development department. By the way, I meant to ask, was I the only one you invited here? I also invited Oi, but he said you can hold your stupid private meetings by yourself. <laughs> Go figure. One of the people here with me was just expressing his suspicions about your last phone call. Who is that on the line? Oh. It's L. <sighs> Uh-oh. Uh -oh. What we'll happened now? I'm reasonably certain that neither of them are Kira. In fact, they seem fed up with him at this point. I'll speak for them and say they'll choose to stand back and watch your face off with Kira, like I plan to. That's fine. Tonight, I'm gonna catch Kira. But I'll need a favor from you. Hmm. Then it's the end for Higuchi. What? You know that it's him? <laughs> so even the great oh. L be tricked. Based on your reaction, That's not the great L. L. certain that Higuchi is Kira. Wow, that's a hell of a voice. This. Come on, it's probably a hoax. This is Sakura TV. No, it's more than that. At the beginning of the show, he said that he overheard a meeting between eight people. What? Someone <laughs> knows about the meetings? Who is it? Did someone betray us? Then one of them was killed by Kira, and now there are only seven left. The man who died was Mr. H. Mr. H? Hattori. If he knows this much, he could be one of the other six. <laughs> no, maybe it's Coil. Mr. H wanted to leave the meetings and was killed by Kira because of that. No, it can't be any of the others. There's no benefit for them to do this. But no one else knows about the meetings, do they? Damn it, who is it? What? Wait. Could it be? <laughs> it's... it's him! <laughs> well, He's the distraction went through. Matsui, that's his name. Why is he still alive? Kill him. Down. How are they gonna face her? She's the second Kira. She should know what his real name is. It's him. <clears throat> oh, what the hell? Uh oh. <laughs> to be honest, I've been debating for a long time whether or not I should make this announcement. But now that I'm here, I know I've done the right thing in coming forward. This is bad. Oh, the announcement. Kira's identity will be announced soon. Cosme Misa, a devilish Cosme Misa. Misa's new line of lipstick just for you. Oh, they're making him sweat. Are you watching Sakura TV? Why don't you call your father at the House of Counselors? Have him pull some strings at the Ministry of Internal Affairs to stop this broadcast. I'm watching, but I don't think we could stop it. No one believes this program, <laughs> so we'd only make ourselves look suspicious if we stop it. Besides, That's a good point. Anything to worry about. The guy revealed his face earlier. Everyone knows it's really Taro Matsui. Namikawa has already gone ahead and told everyone to watch the show. Since one of us seven has to be Kira, that should mean Taro Matsui will soon be dead. 
right. Oh. Who knows or even suspects that Taro Matsui isn't his real name? That means if I say anything, it'll reveal the fact that I'm Kira. Uh, I like this. He's yeah, stuck. That's true. His name was. Nah, I'm sorry, I can't remember. Don't screw with me. Why the hell can't oh. you remember the names of the people you hire? All right, no need for that kind of language. I've got his personnel file back at the office. Go back Why is he giving information out over the phone? What? How's that? The personnel files are in the desk at the back to the left. We'll find them filed in the bottom drawer. Oh, uh, is this how they're doing it? Oh. Uh, but I'm pretty sure it was Yamashita. If they're going to announce it at the end of the program, that means I have two hours. So he's going to go to the office, which I'm presuming is bugged. Oh, please don't tell me he's going to the. TV studio and he's gonna shoot him. But that would make sense because then he would. He would just. Uh, I don't know. I see Higuchi. Okay, I'm a little afraid for Matsuda's life right now because I'm thinking along the lines of he's got a gun and he's more likely to go to the studio and shoot him than he is to actually go to the office to get the name. Um, very elaborate ploy, so I'm assuming that what would happen if it all goes to plan is he, he goes to the office, which must be bugged with video and audio. He gets the name from the locker, writes it in the death note, that shows them how he kills. He gets arrested, bam, Kira, one of the Kira's in prison. Um, is that Light's plan all along? Is it for him to get caught? And for them to think, that's Kira done now? And so then once that happens, Light will get the death note back and he will have his memories restored. Is that the way it's going to supposed to be? Um, it certainly makes sense. It's a very smart plan, but it all hinges on, um, you know, th this this um, this plan working and him being sort of arrogant enough to go and do that. You know, I don't know why he was selected to be the third Kira. Um I'm hoping that gets revealed in time, uh, but the, hey, that was a hell of an episode. I really enjoyed that. Um, yeah, it's it's definitely. I mean, this this is weird how it's going because it's focusing a lot less on light now. That light isn't really Kira, and it's focusing a lot more on L and the investigation and the Yatsuda group. It's kind of almost like um, you know, light is a secondary character at the moment, which is uh, is always good if you can lean on other characters in a TV show, other than the main sort of protagonist it's it's a very loose word to be able to use with light because you know he's not really a protagonist but he's our main point of view character for the most part um so yeah it's really really i mean it shows you the depth that they've got there um so we've only got 15 episodes left as far as i am aware there is 37 episodes and that's episode 22 done and um, so we're going to be getting closer and closer to a build-up at the end like i said in the episode i really want L to eventually see the Shinigami and work everything out um, even if something happens to him just so that he can have that closure and I can see what his reaction is to seeing the Shinigami because he said in that episode it can't be that there's some force looking down on him controlling everything technically speaking the Shinigami aren't controlling everything but they are looking down they are the ones who gave the death notes to the humans so you know it is their responsibility Anyway guys, thank you very much for watching, I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I will see you for the next one.